weather really affecting Ridgeland there in Jasper County where they've seen more than six inches of rain. And uh, again, it could be pretty bad for quite some time. Artesia Reed's in the middle of all of it. She joins us now from Highway 17 with more. Now, as you can see, I'm up to my ankles in water. It only gets even deeper as it goes down. Sheriff's deputies said this road could be closed for hours, maybe even days. This is Highway 17, and they tell me flooding can be found across the entire county. We woke up this morning and our whole yard was flooded. We have been living here almost 41 years and never experienced anything like this. Some people living in Ridgeland, South Carolina, were caught off guard this morning when they woke up to a pool in their front yard after hours of rain. Yeah, we have had rainstorms or systems that come through that caused our yard to be underwater, but never to this magnitude. The entire front yard is now just a pond. The flooding hit all over the county from these homes to Highway 17, different back roads, and even caused I-95 to be shut down for hours. I ran into this dad and daughter who had to walk away from their car on I-95 southbound near exit 22, and they tell me they were knee deep in water. The back seat is all flooded. It's so, it's I to, just noticed my car is moving sideways. It's so deep. They walked away to find help, but about an hour later, I ran into them again, and they were being rescued by Jasper County Fire and Rescue on Highway 17, which is shut down because water has completely taken over the road. Nothing could have forewarned us. We thought it was a traffic accident, so we're going slowly. We didn't realize then that water kept getting deeper and deeper. Officials say because of all the rain, several major and side roads are flooded with standing water. If you see standing water on a roadway, our best advice to you is do not go through it. Now, as you can see, they're actually rescuing people by boat here on Highway 17. Roads across the county are very flooded. And pe they, authorities say they don't know exactly how long these roads are going to be this way. They say 12 to 24 hours, but with more rain expected, they just don't know. They're urging you to use extreme caution. Reporting in Ridgeland, Tasha Reed, WTOC News.